Hey guys, Jacob here from Venture Addicts, and in today's tutorial, we're going to be covering something that bothered me when I was a beginner, and something I use today and every day on every video. Alright, before we start, go over here to the wrench and make sure you have loop checked. Alright, I have a 4 second clip here, and let's say I wanted to fade in the black and fade out to black. I would go to effects, I would type in dip, get dip to black, just drag it on the front and drag it on the end. And if we watch it on loop, you'd see it have a nice fade in, fade out of black. So if you're familiar with our Instagram, you know that we fade into white and fade out to white. And it has like a nice loop and it goes with the Instagram layout. I don't know. It's just something that we've been doing for years. So if you go into Premiere, you can see that there is a dip to white. So let's delete these blacks and add the whites. But when you play it, it does have a nice fade in and out of white, but you can see there's a few frames of black in between. Now, I don't know why this happens or what to do. If you hit on the effect and look at it under effect controls, there's literally nothing you can do or play with. I don't know what to do. There used to be this old setting where you could kind of keyframe it and accomplish the look but it's gone and now I have to do other things. So there's two things you can do. The first one, keeping the effects the way they are, let's drag this up one layer, let's go to the project folder and under new item, let's hit color matte. Hit okay and let's select white. Make sure it's all Fs and hit okay. Okay, and drag it underneath your video layer. Let's make this match and if you play it and you loop it, it's solved fades into white, fades out the white, perfect. Now that is a really simple fix, but usually I'm playing with a bunch of different layers and I don't want to drag up everything and put this whole layer underneath and just other reasons I don't want to do that. So here's what I actually do on every video. Let me delete this mat, drag this back down and delete these effects. All right, I'm going to change the duration of this mat to 24 because it's one second working on 24 sequence. I'm going to drag the mat on the beginning and at the end. Now starting at the first frame, I'm going to hold down shift and go right for five frames. I'm going to look at opacity here, uncheck the stopwatch, check it back on, hit down and go to the end of the frame and lower it to zero. So it has a nice fade in keyframe and I'm going to do the opposite over here. Go to the end, five frames, let's select it, check off, check in, and go to the beginning and go to zero. So with this, we have accomplished the same effect as the first one. Fades into white and fades out the white and you get the nice loop without the black in there. Now instead of having to dip the white effect on each end on the timeline, we now have these matte layers where we have a lot more room for customization. So for example, if we go to the first matte, we can ease out and ease in and that way it has a more seamless kind of entrance and you can do the same thing on the fade out. You can toggle this down, you can play with all of these, the list goes on. So with these keyframes in there, I also like to play with the blending modes. My favorite is screen and if we kind of control Z and redo, go back and forth, you can see there is a difference between a screen and a normal halfway through the transition. And what it does is it, the shadows kind of linger a little bit longer. And I think ultimately it creates a more seamless and a more revealing dip to white than the plugin effect. Most people won't notice it, but it's something I've been doing for years and I'm just a big fan of it. And lastly, not something I necessarily use, but if you go on a timeline, you can double click on your color mat. You can go to black, turn this to a different blending mode, and you can have your little black fade in. You can go to red, and you can go to multiply, and get some weird funky effects. You can go to any color you want, and any blending mode you want, and adjust the keyframes any way you want, and just go crazy, and you have a lot more room for being creative with colors or black and white. Just a lot more flexibility than the dip to black or dip to white effects. So I hope you enjoyed this very simple tutorial. It's funny how you can go years with editing on a program and not even realize these simple little tricks. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you like and comment below. 
If you have any questions, DM me on Instagram or Twitter and make sure to subscribe for more videos and tutorials in the future.